Hey everyone, my name is Holly and welcome to the royalty. I'm thrilled that we're going to be beginning. Interrogation, you will be deceived. Welcome into my psychopath playthrough of interrogation. I hope you're all as excited as I am. Um, we're going to do this in detective mode. Because, you know, da 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 da, detective Holly. And we're going to do a psychopath only mode. This means that we're going to do every every decision to cause them some pain. We're going to make sure that they give us the facts about what it takes. I hope you're as ready as I am. Bringing in a subject, they're a trained actor but should be fully in character for the duration of the interview. I'm considered invisible and inaudible by the actor but I'll be guiding you along. For any interrogation, the first thing you must do is to consult the subject's file. It should give you vital insights into the case, help you identify what information or confession needs to be extracted. Douglas Bird is a play actor. As per the instructions, treat the actor the same as you would a real subject. Mr. Bird, despite coming from well-off parents, has taken to bike theft. We have plenty of circumstantial evidence because none of it is direct, however, we need to leverage all leads in order to get a full confession. Douglas Bird is our main sus sus suspect for several bicycle thefts and a local university campus. Several eyewitnesses confirmed his description. We also have CCTV footage showing a masked figure matching the suspect's description, jumping off an unsupervised bicycle and riding off fast. He's currently listed as unemployed, living in rented apartment paid for by his parents. The criminal record is clean, but he's known to be friends with several narcotic abusers, as well as roommates, who is a suspected marijuana dealer. Not the devil's lettuce, bring him in. When you're done checking the files, you can bring in the perp. I'm down. So, straight up ask. Let's talk about writing a confession. We both know you did this. We're not nothing. I'm not signing nothing. Okay. All right. It won't let me. Won't let me do anything else. So why'd you steal bikes? I ain't no bike theft. We need the subject in the right state of mind to give us answers. How do we do that? We have the following tools in which we can get the subject in. This shows us how open the subject is by looking at the pupil dilation, corroborated with a few other signals. The wider the pupils are, the more per perceptive they are. This meter tells us how scared the subject is by measuring pulse, as well as other bodily symptoms. The quicker the heart rate, the more scared the subject. Now you can influence these meters in all sorts of ways, from building a personal connection to exploiting the background, from cornering them in contradictions and roughing them up. Let's try and build a connection first. Be careful, some questions will alienate the subject instead of bringing them closer. Other questions will seem disingenuous if they're approached too suddenly. You'll probably want to start off as soft as possible. Can't believe they have me chasing bikes. It's a fucking stupid waste of taxpayers' money. Oh, steal for fun? Lost him on the defensive. Right now we're looking to open him up. Okay. Word, that's thug. Grab him opening up, good. That's why the meter now shows a wider circle. Let's try and scare him. You want to intimidate, but don't jump to big threads right off the bat. Okay, don't be afraid to ask a question more than once. Asking again with the subject in a different state, with new information on the table can yield new results. Okay. You know how many, how many months you do for bike theft? Nah, man, I ain't worried about that. Signs of fear are onto something. Drugs make you do it. I'm clean, yo. Okay. I don't need no deal, pig. I'm innocent. Hey, you're tough. You'll do fine in prison. You don't do time for snatching bikes, do you? My dad works with a senator. I'll be fine. Okay, new information to pursue. You think a senator will risk his career for the sake of a bike snatching kid? Really? Probably not. Shit. There we go, we're getting there. Let's put him in a good place to negotiate. If we don't have a deal, then it's definitely prison time. And you can see his pulse is much faster now. Now, this is off the record, but I want you to know your options. Anytime, you can stop the recorder tracking your questioning. This will make people suspicious. The public asked what happened and the recording was stopped. You'll be accused, but ultimately it's your word against theirs. Pinch though, it's something to consider. It means of enhanced interrogation that can get a subject scared faster. Try a couple out. The actor will pretend to be hurt. Yeah. Taser a bitch. 
Be aware if you continue, they might pass out. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be interrogating more than one guy. Okay. Go on. What would that involve though? Listen, you low life. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna beat everyone up. Essentially, that's what we're gonna do. Hey, I need you to come in on a case. Fish has brought in a new set of guys that are in the interrogation rooms. Hey, we have the Vic's husband, the only witness in the robber that broke in. We need your questioning magic in the confession because all we have is circumstantial, you in? Sure thing. The story is Cox broke in arms with a local piece holding this Peterson up, tied him to a chair. Wife comes in and jumps to the phone. Cox drops her with two shots to the back before bolting. We have the gun and prints. This Peterson was cool as a cucumber. His wife's body just lying there in the other room. Managed to track down and also grab Cox. Street contacts help. We still don't have a clear picture of the murder. Check out the files, grill them, cross examination, get me a confession. You have this. I do have this. I'm gonna fuck them up. All right. Murdered in the living room in front of her husband, Daryl. Found tied down in a chair in the same room. He comes a burglar broke in, armed with a low caliber gun and threatened them, tied them up and subsequently shot Miss Peterson as she tried to use her cell phone. Using the description provided and a tip from a local pawn shop, managed to track down the burglar. One Jerry, I'm not gonna say that, and apprehend him. The gun was found outside the building near the fire escape the thief used to enter and leave the premises. Evidence of burglary is clear, but we don't have a full picture of the murder which Munch strongly denies committing. What complicates things is Daryl Peterson's attitude. The first checked on the scene described him as disturbingly serene. Best hope of closing this case to clear admission of guilt. Munch and Peterson have both been held for question. You've been tasked with extracting a confession. Munch has been identified as the burglar. Criminal record colourful and includes car theft, pickpocketing, burglary and credit card. High school dropout with no current employment, known to police as a troublemaker. But he can probably be pressured into it because he's done it before. He has confessed before. Daryl Peterson is the husband of the victim. Although we usually avoid involving family members of the deceased in investigation, he's the sole witness in the murder in order of Kiasa. Voluntarily agreed. No evidence to wrongdoing. All right, okay. I'm gonna start with Daryl. Who killed your wife? I don't believe you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were you and your wife? Were the doors locked? Yeah, go on. Anyone else in the house? Did you provoke him? Mm. Why did he tie you down? Do you also want to tie down the wife? Alright. Said you were a gun owner but you're not registered. Why didn't you report it sooner? You were prepared? Hmm. What if you killed her? I... I... Quite harsh if you knew you have. Talking about a political platform? How will that happen? So what hands are you talking about? Oh, Who has access? Why so secret? Liberation Front? Who killed your wife? Yeah, I am. I am saying that. Who killed your wife? What'd your wife think? How are things with your marriage? Yeah. I'm sure she did. Mm, mm hmm. Any details you might have left out? Had all that stuff. 
can't imagine myself getting married. Tell us about the agreements. Alright. Alright. Who killed your wife? Alright. We're gonna have to go speak to Cut. Let's have you heard of them? Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. I'll search your house. One was shot in cold blood. Don't waste my time. Oh, I'm a me. Oh, I'm evil. How evil am I now? house with the lights on oh he said that the lights were on mm -hmm. who you believe me or a criminal why didn't you leave you have pretty extreme views No, no. Oh, you got a gun in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about you. Have you taken leave? Fired you a month ago. So the wife is the primary owner? Mm. Why'd you get fired? I'm sure. You and your wife argued, she blamed you? Mm. Mm hmm. You resented her. Because you hated her. Who killed her? To me, it's clear you have no, no love for her. You had an argument that night. If you believe in justice, confess. Hey, we did it! She should have treated me with more respect. She deserved it. And so does my stupid boss and so do many others. We don't take things into our own hands. Nothing will ever change. Thought you'd understand that too. I got you, fool. Go to prison! Hey. Good work now. Something important I need to discuss with you. Before that, I need you to finish up the press release pointing out about the case. Help and word it. Then come see me. The criminals have been incarcerated. The main suspect. First degree murder. No violent intent, no connection to the murder. Wasn't him, it was the husband. Come in for a sec. Reunion your inter interrogation tapes. Can I explain why there's gaps on them? No clue. The exact accusations they make about being her become more credible in the gaps in the recording. Be dead careful about that, that's all. You don't need to know. Okay, intimidating presence. You've mastered the use of threats and silence to cow your subjects. No, that's the one I wanted. Yeah. Liberation from business. You got out of peace, it seems to be pretty serious stuff. They're claiming more and more hits. Seems that they're behind like assaults on politicians. He's here to be expanding their operation chiefly in our city. So I talked over the powers that be and decided you're the best person for the job. I am the best person for the job. Let's go. Heading over small units, combat these guys. Let's fucking go. We're calling some of the best people from other departments to work with you. Not gonna lie, this unit will mean all eyes on you. Try and keep everyone happy. But most importantly, stop these bastards. I'll stop them. You watch. You watch. I'm gonna stop them so hard. Congratulations on your new assignment, detective. 
Mm-hmm. We introduce you to some of the people you work with. Tab Thompson, analyst extraordinaire. Look forward to addressing the threat of deliberation from the detective. It's Jennifer Rees, organised crime department best. Delighted detective. Your fit. Mordecai Fisher, who we pulled away from homicide, will also be helping you out in the field. I'll leave you to it. Okay. Can we head and talk over some at Hannigan's? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get buried with the girl. Sorry, Tab. Got some live action. Morty's out there with badges grabbing three suspects for who Hall and Bunny could be. I do hope Mr. Fisher practices restraint. I know he'd rather be rather abrasive and bringing people in. I'm sure Morty means well. I'm gonna go deck him. Update being pushed to the chat software. Seems liberation front found out about our move. Triggered reallocation of passwords for the chat room. Just a matter of minutes before the current password becomes useless, we need to acquire the new one ASAP. Alright, alright, alright. Liberation Front plotting online using password protected forums and chat rooms. Members hiding behind anonymous handles. Following Peterson's tips, we tracked down the main chat room they use, a server dedicated to Peck. That's fucking weird. We've recently seen traffic spikes in one of the special access private rooms we suspect something major is happening. Managed to find a username that has some special permissions required to access most of the private chats in the chat room. HornBunny49. Now we need the password. In IP tracker, we managed to narrow down the user ID to three possible individuals. None of them admit to being HornBunny49 as such and now help further questioning. Liberation Front caught wind of our inquiries, initiating a mass reset of passwords and access permissions. We've only minutes to find the password that gives us access to the conversations. Alright. Diana. Alright. Alternative model. Nice. Nice. Okay. Cartoon rabbit on the back. Not a tramp stamp. Okay. Michael works as a pet stylist. Okay. Underground theatre scene. Alright. He's a Democrat. Fred. That's one of the IPs. Fred works as a risk analyst for a major bank. It's to It's him. Plays airsoft and produ- uh, plays field tennis. He has repeatedly threatened to sue as well. Yeah, it's him. It's him. Just because I can't lie. Yeah. Alright, Fred. Alright, have broken legs. I'm not one of those. Willing to take a violent action? Let's talk about the pet care chat rooms. Some questions about it. How much time are you spending? How'd you get into it? Mm. So you say you visited daily? Do you have any pets? Yeah, I do. Do you know either of them? Do you have any evidence? I'll show you the evidence! I repeat! Yeah. Nothing like that. I just want my lawyer. What name did you use? Never, I've see, never seen him around, no? Yeah, there we go. It's password, bro. You're gonna suffer. I'm such a good psychopath. Welcome, Horn Bunny 49. Let's go. Yeah, we're not gonna name him. Truth and order. A suspected collaborator. Due to our lack of evidence. Relevant information. Yeah. 
Hey boss, let's talk about the interview tapes real quick. There's a gap on one of them. And at least one of the subjects is not totally telling the lawyer, but also the media. Uh, that you roughed him up during a pause, they might even press charges. So you're running the show here, I just want you to stay aware that even if though it's word, they, your word against theirs, there could be consequences if it keeps repeating. Yeah. Gotta do what I gotta do. Right? Great job in there. Now that we're logged in, even for a second we can analyse what they've been talking. At first glance, they seem to be using code word instead of a smart algorithm. Um. Yeah, give me algorithms. Sorry, Jennifer. Like I'd bang you, but I'm like, I'm busy. Part of the lead in the team, you have to manage budget and assign missions. Alright, I'll budget. All set. Alright. Track the murder weapon. Focus on the chat room analysis. Gone. UV by the book. Um, hmm. HR report. Mm, should I take him out? I don't know. I'll give him some therapy. I'm gonna need it working with me. Got a reporter in, gonna ask you a few questions. This is Eddie Walker from the Heraldic. Greetings. Ready to get started? I'll leave you to it. Let's clear the room. Make sure we've got some privacy. How does it feel to be assigned? We've got the best people and we'll deliver. What sort of boss are you to your team? Hmm. I have a good team. Jennifer's phenomenal. Okay. Yeah, we'll get them. They haven't got power. Bring down the leaders. There are rumours of roughness, priest brutality cases of abuse coming from your task force's ranks. Comments? Yeah! Fuck! Get, get yourself in check. Your office hasn't employed intimidation tactics, hasn't played fast and loose with civil rights. No, we've not. What do they want? They're a bunch of psychos that need to be stopped. They made any demands? We don't negotiate with terrorists. Be alert and report. We'll crush these maggots within the end of the year. Public's gonna love me. Things are not looking good. Reports coming in of procedural breaches. City Hall's unhappy, that's you. Get your hotel or we're forced to take you off the team, that is all. Are you serious? Mm -mm. There we go. What? The people should love me! Vigilante? Oh, I didn't know there was vigilantes in this. Say, hey, boss, I want to clear the water about some stuff I don't know if you're aware of or not. Chief Lucas wasn't looking. Uh, was looking at the two of us to see who'd head up the task force. Guess your ace in that Peterson grill made it done deal, and I can't blame the chief for that call. Bullshit rumors fly easily. I just wanted to reassure you I'm fully on board, right behind you. Let's do good work. My door's always open. Because you have your heart. 
Alright. Okay. Dealing with a cell. Okay. But 80%. Let's get to our cars. We need to canvas the place. Okay. So we caught a murderous husband and we caught the chat password. I think we're being very good side facts. I think we're doing really well. We're attacking people enough. You know, we're doing we're doing the right things. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment if you've got something to say, and you know, you can always subscribe and turn on the notification bell. <laughs> I am proud of you for getting through today, and I'm even more proud of you for getting through tomorrow. Arvido San, leave a dirt you good as should us, all the way go. Peace. See you on the next. Bye! Hey everyone! These tons of improved beats have been brought to you by Stranger Games. The creator of Ashina the Red Witch and my big sister. Check them out below. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my real patrons. My tier 3 supporter, Hansel Panda, my tier 2 patron supporter, Suki SJ, and my tier 1 patron supporter, Danny. Your support allows me to make content as regularly as I do, and I am so grateful. If you would like to join the royal patrons, there is a link down below in the description. Thank you so much for everything you do for me.